it is widely assumed that the modern day piano cannot be further improved. This is simply not true. After all, the quality of the instruments built between 1880 and 1920 was better than that of the instruments built today. The use of wood as a raw material was more common back then, so a lot of high quality wood was available to the piano industry. Cheap labor and high expertise made it possible to scrutinize every millimeter of it. The piano builders discarded uh, most of the wood, using only the very best parts, which gave them a lot of control over the material. Nowadays, this would be financially impossible, but modern day technology allows for more ways to optimize the pianist's control over the instrument. We are particularly interested in the musical characteristics of these historical high quality instruments and we aim to reproduce those to give pianists an opportunity to play on top quality instruments again. For musicality's sake, we rely on science and research. So for instance, um, we've studied different soundboard constructions by using state-of-the-art laser interferometry. By the way, this probably makes us the first company in the history of instrument building able to visualize the actual vibrational characteristics of every component of the piano in high resolution. Let's give you an example. Here we see a regular upright piano. You can see the soundboard, which is basically a vibrating membrane that amplifies the sound, but also alters it, giving it more specific acoustic characteristics. The simple waveform of the strings is manipulated in a way that is comparable to subtractive synthesis. So the pitch stays the same, the timbre changes, depending on the impedance of the soundboard. Let's take a look at the bottom right corner. What you see there is the propagation of the sound wave coming to a halt, just like a wave hitting the rocks on the seashore. This creates a very inefficient distribution of energy through the soundboard. The acoustic result is a shorter tone with emphasis on a few higher overtones, which creates a very harsh sound. Based on these insights, the soundboard of this particular piano isn't very good. Okay, here's another example. This is a much better instrument. In reference to the previous example, one of the things that you can see here is that the sound wave never hits the corners, but keeps circling around the entire soundboard. And the acoustic result is a longer tone with a better distribution of overtones, resulting in a richer and less harsh tone. At first glance, a modern day piano looks a lot like its older brother. It just doesn't sound or feel the same. Our instruments are not designed to copy the looks, but rather the musical quality of their very best historical counterparts. And we even aim to improve that quality, only in a much more feasible way.